I'll be honest, I kind of zoned out during this game because midway through it was reported on social media that Bill Murray is dating Khalees, which I was shocked and dumbfounded and utterly confused by, and I then spent the next hour trying to rationalize it and explain it and understand it, and all I could come up with was, I guess her milkshakes really do bring all the boys to the yard. So I missed a good portion of this game, but I guess I didn't miss much. Just a cool, calm, collected Yankees victory as the Bronx Bombers finally get a win in this three-game series against the White Sox. They win the second game of the doubleheader, and they salvage something out of this series. And it wasn't a lot of offense that got the job done today, but it was just enough. We start in the bottom of the fourth with Willie Calhoun banging, as he always does, a double that originally was an out, but they later overturned it. And then with Willie on for the 10th time this season, it was Glaber Day. Glaber Torres crushes a two-run shot into left center field, and the Bronx Bombers lead it two to nothing. But then in the fifth inning, this was a little bit more special. The first Yankees home run for Billy McKinney. A rocket into right field, a 407-foot blast, and the Yankees lead it three to nothing. And that was it. The White Sox got nothing after that, mainly thanks to the stellar pitching of Randy Vasquez. We see him really step up to the plate. Five and two-thirds, two hits, no runs, one walk, three strikeouts, 86 pitches, 54 strikeouts, dropping his ERA to 1.74. What's scary is he might be the second or third best starting pitcher the Yankees have right now, which is crazy to think about, but, you know, we don't have a lot of depth there at the starting pitching spot. You know, I saw on Yankees Yes Network that the, we have the best bullpen ERA in baseball. It'd be nice if we could have some of that quality for the starting pitchers, but we got it here at least in the second start in Vasquez. Well done there. The bullpen shut down Chicago, Marinaccio, Clay Holmes, delivered and the Yankees get a much needed win and I'm not going to act like this series was good it really really sucked it was a bad series overall for this team you know th those two losses just just bad uh losing the first game there where the Yankees bats didn't really show up until later in the game and then you know today where it looked like we actually we got runs off a non-competitive lineup we had a, a very very weak lineup and we still scored five runs but the White Sox just destroyed us with their six this is not a great series, a disappointing series, a lot of things that we could have done better, but we got to win, and we should be at least happy about that. And now, the thing I don't like is that we have a bad series heading into a series against Boston. And, you know, for all the things we can say about Boston, they are still our rivals. They are still our top, you know, even though they suck right now, they're a game under 500. Yankees-Red Sox still mean something. So I'm disappointed that, you know, heading into this series, we're not at our best, but we got to make the best of it, and we do have our ace going tomorrow, so let's hope that he's able. Garrett Cole, 7-0 on the season. Let's hope for win number eight tomorrow. There isn't really a lot to break down from this game. The Yankees got the couple hits. Chicago, silent. It's really it. <laughs> Not a lot of big plays we can break down here. I'm also really tired because this is the second video I've done today, and even though it doesn't seem like it, uh, these videos are a lot of work to make. So, yeah, while I'm happy that the Yankees got the win today, there's still a lot of work to be done. This, it's disappointing that after the series against the Dodgers, we fall flat like this. But we did get a win, so I can't be too mad. And we may have just discovered a new ace for us in Randy Vasquez. But time will tell. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and like to see, make sure you subscribe down below. I will be back tomorrow. The Yankees-Red Sox doesn't get any better than this. Take care and God bless.